Collingwood footballer Travis Varco has made an emotional return to training as his sister continues to fight for life in the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Prayers and messages of support flooding in for 27-year-old Maggie Varco, who sustained critical head injuries in a Women's League Grand Final. An emotional Travis Varco addressed the Collingwood playing group this morning. Hugs from teammates and time on the training track, a welcome distraction. You know, obviously he's got his family, his two kids and his, and his wife Kim as well, but um, he also mentioned that you know, he, he also feels comfortable and, and wanted to be around his other family and that's us at the footy club. We'll support Trav as much as we possibly can and yeah, he's a, a very private person. Varco's sister Maggie was stretched from Theberton Oval late in Sunday's Division 2 grand final between her team Anglevale and opponents Mount Lofty. The Adelaide Footy League says the 27-year-old was conscious as the final siren sounded moments later. But as Mount Lofty celebrated victory, Maggie collapsed in the change rooms. Clearly it was a very disturbing environment for everyone, whether it be teammates, opposition, umpires, uh, staff, first responders. League officials say Maggie sustained a head injury during an innocuous and accidental collision with a 19-year-old teammate who herself suffered a fractured cheekbone. They've clashed heads um, in, a, in an incident that would be as, as common in any code, whether it be netball, basketball or soccer. Like Travis, Maggie is a talented footballer. Sprinting on interchange player Mark Varco straight into what's happening in the middle. She almost gets a touch, she does. She plays for North Adelaide in the SANFL, was the runner-up best and fairest at Anglevale last season and her team's second best player in the grand final on Sunday. Her club has released a public message of support. Maggie's family is by her side as she continues her fight. We will be here to support her and the family in any way we can. Stay strong, Maggie. And Ben Avery joins us now. Ben, what's the latest on Maggie's condition? Well, Kate, I spoke to the hospital a short time ago and it's confirmed the 27-year-old is still fighting for life with her family by her side. Travis Varco, while in Melbourne this morning, is likely to join them at some stage soon. Uh, Collingwood's qualifying final against West Coast isn't until next Saturday night, so he's likely to spend at least some of the next 10 days with Maggie here in Adelaide.